Sabeel, you're chasing a story about a pastor at a small church in Harlem who's in a bit of hot water, but according to him, he's winning. What do you got? Bill, if you're in Harlem walking at the intersection of West 123rd Street and Lenox Avenue, this is the sign you are faced with. On the sign, it reads, the judge ruled the cross of Jesus and sign will not be moved. We won, we won, have a nice day, you damned homos. So there's a backstory to that sign. The word of God, everybody, yeah. you tell me I'm going to abdicate this and listen to what some f says. That's right. Or some f who has a perverted interpretation. This is the word of God. Are you crazy? Pastor Manning, he's been preaching at this church for the past 30 years. The Bible does say him being, being a sodomite is an abominable practice worthy of death. Leviticus chapter 20, verse 13. The Bible also says love one another, so there's that. And he often, on the sign outside his church, puts up anti-gay messages. Uh, I'm not sure what he's trying to do, but I think at, at a church they should be more, uh, more welcoming and accepting of, of everybody. This church is a city landmark, and the city's Landmark Preservation Commission actually regulates these buildings. Okay. And they found that there were some violations in this building, and a judge did actually fine the church. Pastor Manning and the church would be fined $1,850. This sign has been here for over 10 years. Uh, it's the uh, sodomites, the gentrifiers, the Jesus haters, people that have recently moved into this community who wants to sign down. So they are employing the Landmarks Conservancy as a tool to try to get us to take it out. He can preach all he wants in his church. Outside of the church, that sign, it's even offensive to me. They have the right to this free speech and people have the right to respond. I mean, we've got Liz Jackson. She created a campaign against these signs using the hashtag Harlem Love. And you know, her signs might make some people uncomfortable. The, one of them saying, love is all you need and gay sex. The pastor believed that this is just a campaign by gays to get him to take the signs down. It's not really about preservation. The poor people in this community have no one to advocate for them. Charles Rangel doesn't. They're being pushed out by all these and all these bankers and business people who are pushing these people out of their homes. Over the past few years in California, when Proposition 8 was passed, which was the ban on gay marriage, 70% of black voters voted for that. We all talk about, oh, there's freedom of speech and there's my freedom to respond to that speech right. and not go to this church, but people go to this church Right, it's not just one person right. espousing it's what I would call hate. It's the fact that there are members of this church who who might not be bothered by it. I mean, I think that's where the courts have a lot of problems because there's freedom of speech and freedom of religion. And those people that in their religion want to speak out against gay marriage that they don't believe in, that's where the court's gonna have a problem.